<laughs> Who is most likely to cry after sex? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Who is most likely to send nudes to the wrong person? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of J Bro. We are in our house for episode two of Living Together Diaries. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep it simple today. It's a little bit random, uh -huh. but we're gonna play a game. This is a get to know each other game. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Who is more likely to? We're gonna prompt a question, and on count of three, we're just gonna point at each other or ourselves. I see. Yeah. Let's start off with something funny first. Most likely to have a foot fetish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, you, have, you, have, you, have, you have so many fetishes. What are you talking about, dude? You don't know any of my <laughs> I can't even mention it on camera. I'm like, what the whoa, heck? Whoa. Are you? <laughs> throwing the bus here. <laughs> I have no fetish. I, I'm organic. <laughs> I'm cool. Okay, you're, you're, you're relatively. Uh, you're more conservative. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> feet, though. I mean, not, not interested in feet, but okay. I'm, I'm down for some more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyways. You're open, let's just say oh. that. But why aren't you. Why aren't you more. Uh, wild. <laughs> <laughs> you can still be conservative, but be wild. About it. Anyways, anyways, if you guys are into fetishes, leave a comment below. <laughs> Who is more likely to ditch his or her friend to flirt with a stranger? Oh. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> if the opportunity is there, I feel like my friends will understand. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I don't like the word ditch. Ditch. No, it means yeah. you, you, you'll go off and do your thing. Who is most likely to have an arranged marriage? Oh, one, two, three. What? You for no sure. No way, dude. dude. You for sure. Absolutely not. If you're 40 and you're still single, arranged you're, marriage? Dude, you're, I, your parents are gonna go absolutely ham trying to look for people. Left and right. Okay. I think the probability of me being in an arranged marriage and happy is uh... Okay, maybe arranged marriage is a very far stretched concept. Oh. Getting set up. Okay. Oh, uh, it's, well, it's, already, it's already been happening. So yeah, I guess it's more likely. Yeah, but actually like meeting. Oh, okay, okay. My parents' <laughs> taste is also like very far from mine. No, but at least your parents tried. My parents are like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we don't, we don't even have anyone to introduce you. <laughs> They're looking out for the other person. <laughs> like, I, I, I saw it's not an option. <laughs> Who is most likely to party the most? One, two, three. <laughs> no secret. <laughs> Me or Kate Town. Who is most likely to send nudes to the wrong person? <laughs> Dude, that's definitely you. Well, no, what? No, yeah, I feel like. I would nudes. never send nudes. Wait, have you sent nudes? Period. I, I've never sent nudes. I have haven't you? either, I haven't either. But I have sent wrong texts to people. That's why you would be more likely to send nudes to the wrong person. But I, 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 you sending and receiving nudes is not uncommon, I think, in our generation. For me, it's not something that's common in my life. In my high school? Yeah. That's literally, like, it was like a talk of like the morning. It was like the morning news. <laughs> in today's headline news, Dr. Jason Key, PhD, with his pants off. And then it got so bad in my high school yeah. that um, the principal got involved. Yeah. And he contacted the parents of the people who were sending the nudes. I see. How do you, how do how do people do it? How do they do it? <laughs> what do you mean? How do they do it? <laughs> who is most likely to die of an unexplained illness? One, two, three. Probably you. Yeah. I feel like random stuff happens to you all the time. I think so. I I don't have control of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. <laughs> what what illness do you think that? You could be I don't know, I always have fear that when I get anything, uh, I kind of panic. Mm. Like even like the simple sneeze or like sore throat. Ah. I'm like, oh shit, this is like the like start of something really bad. Uh -huh. So here's another question. Who is more likely to live longer? <laughs> One, two, three. I hope, I hope you live long. I hope you live long too and have a good life. <laughs> I'm not someone who's like, uh, I gotta have a strict vitamin A, B, C, and get my supplements in. I'm guy, but you are certainly right. Mm. And have you been taking any like supplements recently? I have, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> this is the AG1 by Athletic Greens. 
sponsor of this video. But real talk, I actually do drink this in the morning. Mm -hmm. The AG1 by Athletic Green is a nutritional supplement. It contains over 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics. What I like the most is that it has all the nutrition in one scoop. I'm not a foodie, so you know I, I don't know if I have much credibility, but I think it tastes good. You said it tastes like what, green tea? <laughs> it tastes like green tea with a slight after hit of bubble gum. It's kind of pleasant, actually. I would have never thought. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think it is good. And with your first purchase of the AG1 kit, you can get a year supply, which is this bottle here, of the vitamin D3 mm -hmm. K2. And also five free travel packets. It also supports your gut health. And it's non-GMO. And made from New Zealand. You know, anything from New Zealand is got to be healthy. Oh, Quality this stuff. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, I love the packaging. It's just a great product. So try out using our link below and get the free perks. Who is most likely to fall for someone with serious character flaws? <laughs> oh, that's kind of good, dude. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, why don't you point yourself, Jason? You don't get a microphone. I don't know, you know. I I see beauty in all things. I I, I think you're more willing to overlook. I'm more mm -hmm. willing to overlook. Whereas, I think you are just going to be like, eh? Because mm -hmm. I think you, you're very straight edged in like your lifestyle. For sure, it's a good trait. Has there ever been an instance where there was a huge character flaw in your eyes, but you're like, ah, it's okay. You know, there's a <laughs> yeah. there's this ratio of hotness versus oh, session, I see. That you can get away with. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, who is <laughs> who is most likely to cry after sex? One, two, three. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> no, never. Does that happen? I think... No, I, like emotionally, romantically, it can? Maybe cry from regrets. No way. You never... Who cries <laughs> with... Who cries with regrets after sex? <laughs> I can see how it could happen though. Because there's such an intimate connection. Well, I can't imagine a picture, a scenario where I'll ever cry after sex. I can imagine a girl crying. I could imagine a girl crying. But has any dude ever cried after sex? Comment below if your man has cried after sex. Oh yeah, I'm actually curious to know. Who is most likely to want a friend's partner? <laughs> Wait, that's weird. It happens. Not, Not with my bros, yeah, but yeah. it happens. And it's really sad to see. Yeah. We talked about this. It yeah, happens yeah, in a yeah. small bro code is, bro code is, uh, is upheld strongly in this household. There's a lot of fish in the ocean, you know. It's a matter of perspective. That too. But it's not because there's more options. But what if, what if you're in the island? You're limited. <laughs> <laughs> there are like literally four people. Five uh, people. Uh, five people. Two guys. It's singles three inferno. Girls. Three guys, two girls. Singles inferno. Yeah. And that's the only people that exist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you? Then they're not your friend. <laughs> oh no, they're no longer <laughs> your friends. The two other dudes are no longer You have girls. to break the friendship first. Because you shouldn't do it by principle with a partner, with a friend's partner. <laughs> Did you see that other one? What? Who is more likely to walk out on a date because he or she got catfished? Oh, I, I still take my time to get to know the person. Just because like, he or she showed up. Yeah. Or, uh, she showed up, not he or she. <laughs> she showed up. Your pronoun use is just questionable here. <laughs> no, because you're catfished. You could be a he or she. Oh, I see. <laughs> anyway. What do you think about that movie with the um uh there was a uh, in a movie about being a catfish? He catfished a girl. Oh yeah. Pretending to be like a like a stud. Uh huh. And that was the number one Netflix series for like a month. At the end, she fell in love with him for his personality. Oh really? For his personality. Uh, I see. Yeah. I just don't like the idea of being tricked. Yeah. Well, I don't. I, I would feel uncomfortable if I were catfish with somebody too. What if you're a catfish and she was cuter than the picture? <laughs> Who is most likely to post a video of them and their partner having uh, intimate, intimate moments? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I think neither of us would. I just know you would absolutely never. Never. Yeah. Never. I don't think, I think it's never for you too. <laughs> Why right. do people do that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, why would you want to do that? <laughs> if, you, if you go to X-rated sites, yes. so many couples posting. Yeah, but that's, I think that that's like, uh, actually non-consented of all of them. 
I think that's like the, one of the biggest fears that girls have. Mm. It's like taking intimate videos with their partner. But why even consent to filming it? I don't. I think most girls don't. Would you upload a picture of you like, like let's say like a very intimate moment with you and your partner? Oh my, absolutely not. Even if it's like, it could be cute. It's like very romantic. Oh, like kissing. Yeah, let's say that like you're both like lying in bed. Oh. And like uh, she's in like a tank top and you're. Oh, like how like Justin Bieber post some like. True. Oh. Would you do those? Probably not. I, I'm not that. I'm kind of old school. I'm uh, old, uh, old. Keep that stuff private. Yeah. Old fashioned. What if she way. wanted it? What if she? What if she's she found value in it? I I'd be kind of shy about it. To be oh, honest. Okay, okay. What about you? Same boat. I, uh, that stuff. Eric stuff. To the Imagine the cute kid did this. Oh yeah, that's 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 another reason that like I can't be completely unfiltered on this channel. <laughs> Posting like a risky picture, like. Right, right, right. I have to at least I have to be professional. Yeah, if if you're like a musician or like some uh, actor, you can kind of get away with it or models. Yeah. <laughs> but as a kid, dentist. I know it's it's a polarizing. Uh, <laughs> this channel itself is actually like the opposite of my other channel. Who is more likely to get married first? One, two, three. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think there will come a, come a day in your life where you're like, oh shoot, I kind of want someone that I can depend on. Be a life partner, you know? Yeah. And someone that you be excited to do life together with. True. Someone who's there to listen to your rant. Someone who's there to live and laugh. And you guys can do cute activities together. Right? That was, that was cute, bro. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll know when, I, when the time comes. I guess you're just really not really thinking about it, to be honest. You know. So there we have it. Um, John is most likely to be a foot fetisher. <laughs> Whether you're into fetishes or not, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys like this content. Make sure to subscribe. Peace. Until next time, we're out.